go to the game so first match is played between Anis Giri and Nodri Bek and it was a draw the second match Yakubov Nodri Bek versus Jordan it was a draw and some great grandmasters playing today from Netherlands and the young team of Uzbekistan gave a stunning victory and the third match between Jabokir and Bok Benjamin was also a draw and let us now go to the decisive match so this match is very important from the history of chess olympiad because this match has won and this match is going on on the board four between warmer the max federated 2610 player against jako nagir federated 2564 and so this is the match which has decided the gold medal and we are going to understand it from beginner's perspective that what openings have been played and what tactics have been applied. So start, Max is playing with the white pieces and Jaco Nagir is playing with the black pieces and he plays e4, c5. So we all know that when c5 is played, this is called Sicilian defense. So this is very clear that Sicilian defense is being played right now and e4, c5 is Sicilian defense. So those who are trying to improve their chess and right now you should know the what are the rules of this tournament. Every player get 90 minutes plus 30 minutes and they get after every 40 moves 30 seconds of increment. So this is the game which has given Uzbekistan the gold medal and in the capital of Uzbekistan, Tashkent, the celebration is going on. This young team has written a history and they have won as on that the gold medal by playing Sicilian defense. This is important from beginner's perspective because he got the black pieces and it's not an easy task to win from the black pieces because white is at an advantage because white pieces begins the game. So what opening has been played by Jako Nagir from Uzbekistan, federated 2564, near about 50 points ahead. War at the max from Netherlands is playing, even Anis Giri was playing and all the three matches were drawn and this game was going on and Sicilian defense he opted against e4 and this is important from beginner's perspective. And now knight to f3, so in this opening usually you develop the minor pieces first and knight goes to f3 and knight c6. So what is this opening called? This is called Old Sicilian. So most of the grandmasters who have achieved the world championship, they must be expert of Sicilian defense while playing from black. And if you are playing the final match with the black, you are at a disadvantage because white pieces begins the game. And so Sicilian is one of the very strong opening that is played at Grandmasters level and you need to know the variations of the Sicilian. So I will tell you the variations of the Sicilian if you immediately hear, say you play A6. So this is Oakley variation of the Sicilian defense. If you immediately play say D to six this is modern variation of the sicilian defense and if you try something like this this is sicilian defense french variation and if you go with the knight first suppose you play the knight at this stage this is called old sicilian which is played by jaco nagir and those those beginners who are watching this match this is the idea that you have to learn that with black pieces he is playing and he has converted into a victory and he has won the gold medal for his country and you can also win provided you develop yourself with this. So now old Sicilian variation has been adopted by Jokan Nagir and now he goes for bishop b5. And so this is a very very rare opening. Max has opted for a very very rare opening and this is a variation of Rosolimo attack and we need to look into the encyclopedia of chess opening so that you can improve your game and this opening is a very rare and very sharp opening and then g6 has been played and he has opted the fianchato variation some queens uh, king's indian 
defense type of setup is going to happen at later stage but this was a very very rare opening that has been opted by max in the chess olympia 2022 today this match has happened and systematic chess is analyzing this match from the beginner's perspective that how this match can be helpful to you immediately max goes for castling and now he fiancha to his bishop that's why he goes there because this is a very strong diagonal if you are having your bishop on this strong diagonal you are going to be strong so a variations see he tried to play old sicilian but max astonished him by this bishop idea rosal limo attack a very rare opening and so he maneuvered him to the fundamental principles of chess that let me open myself let me develop my minor pieces on strong positions and that's way he has developed so let us see this is very useful for beginners and he plays c3 so looking c3 it means that he is aiming for this so what you have to look that you need to control the centers right now this pawn is doing a great job this knight is doing a great job it is acquiring some very very strong pawns and so while developing your opening what you need to do is you need to control the center and uzbekistan has won the gold medal and this is the gold medal match that we are witnessing and we are learning from this match what a game that has been played and so a rosalimo attack of the sicilian defense has happened it is a very very rare opening and max shocked jakonagir by this bishop idea and rosalimo attack is going on so right now max is looking i think he has prepared this against jakonagir and jakonagir opted immediately went to the classical methods that let i if i don't know the opening what i need to do if you don't know the opening what will you be doing that is the question so what you have to do if you don't know the opening you just develop your minor pieces first you develop minor pieces go for castling then complete development of your major pieces keep an eye on the center try to control towards the center and that is what happening in the game and very very informative match very very good match and this match is the gold medal match so right now he has developed his three minor pieces has went for a classical and now he is looking for castling because he has castled white pieces have been castled federated 2610 max warmerdom is playing right now and let us see what openings they have played and how can you benefit from this game immediately d4 so this idea was there that he will go for d4 because this pawn is sitting over here and max has just taken the game out of theory and a very very rare game is going on and this game is going on very on a classical setup no moves you need to remember if you follow the fundamental steps of opening and if you read the games of grandmaster that can help you so the idea of this move was to go for this move so that you can now you have you are attacking this pawn and it is under attack but it has two defenders and it is under attack by two defenders so that is the calculation you need to do and right now immediately he captures and he attacks the knight so that is a very very different move not theoretical move something different is happening for the gold medal and it eventually it happens in chess that at highest level a situation comes where no memory works it is all about your own instincts that decision taking instincts helps you and this is a right ideal match for that and now he moves his knight coming to a very very strong position in the center so both the players are trying to hold the center capture the center and now he captures so right now it seems that he has won the center but with these two pieces are very very strong and this was the idea that he has gone for these two moves and then immediately attacking the knight and now it seems that his pawns have advanced and he is controlling the center but this match is very important from uzbekistan point of view both are playing at 1 hour 16 minutes 1 hour 28 minutes 20 minutes of thought they have already invested in this match and let us see what happens next so he maneuvers back attacks the bishop so what will happen right now knight comes to c3 developing the knight and netherland 
is right now needs this victory to improve its position and Uzbekistan needs this victory to win the gold and this is the gold medal match. Now he does not take it with the knight because he could have taken so now he has given an attack over there and so from here this is all together a new problem and at a move number 9 itself it the game has rooted away from the main fundamental line so this is a classical game going on a very strong game from gold medal point of view and those players who want to improve chess we are analyzing systematic chess is analyzing so that it can help you at move number nine it's all together a new game so what is going to happen now so Bishop retreats so he could have retreated here here but he finds this because he is eyeing over here and sometimes you go for this sacrifice so that you can produce weakness in the opponent's camp if you are able to sacrifice a minor piece and produce a strong weakness and set up some traps which is not recognizable of if you are able to produce a double attack then you are going to probably be uh, make a victory and that is what is important so right now he castles so he don't want jako nagir he's appearing that a new problem is there but i should not keep the king in the middle of the board because anytime the center may get open and then it may become very difficult so this pawn is defended by two pieces and there is one attacker so how can he attack this pawn so might be he is looking for this idea might be he is looking for this idea so so many calculations are to be done in the middle game and this is the gold medal game that is going on bishop comes to g5 so developing his bishop so there were many places to develop but this location can you find out why he developed his bishop over there so why not over here why not over here why not over here why he has gone over here this is the question to my viewers and why because this is attacking this pawn he cannot move this pawn because it is now pinned and now he has pinned a pawn so remember you don't only pin a knight you don't only pin a bishop you also pin sometimes the pawn so that you can restrict the movements of your opponent so right now the game is going on and this is the gold medal game today uzbekistan has won the gold medal used by this match and what's happening right now d6 so now Jako Nagir is being compressed fully by a very strong opponent. He is 50 points up in the federated. Max is federated 2610. Jako Nagir is a very young dynamic player federated 2564. And this game he needs to win for his country. And that is what a team event makes that you come out extraordinarily in the requirement and you deliver beyond your abilities to win and this is all together something that you cannot prepare it's all together a new game right now at the move number nine itself the game entered into a new move a very obscure opening in the sicilian defense has been played by warmel dam max from netherlands and jaco nagir who is quite at lower rated with max needs this win to this needs win to get the gold he don't want to make any chances by drawing it because all the three matches were drawn and let us see what happens now so some simplification is required so what should white do right now should he capture should he move should he not move so you need to do some calculations so what happens if you capture so if you capture on d6 what will happen might be the queen comes up and captures it so you are going to give him a chance to this pawn cannot capture because you have pinned it so the queen is coming over here and can you produce some attack on the queen can the further moves can attack the queen can you move this so d5 may be played before playing to d5 you need to capture this and so he wants some simplification his pieces are eyeing very strongly the he has developed and he has gained some pieces so right now computer is saying that white is at slight advantage so jako nagir federated 256 pure playing against a stronger player than him is at disadvantage at move, move number 11 and how he converts this to a victory let us see what calculations he did and it's all together a new game what is going to happen next it's lots of tension going on in the center and so max captures towards this so white pawn has come to the sixth rank 
and so he is cannot capture by this pawn because it is pinned so he have to capture by the queen that is the only way and he cannot allow that pawn to be there it's a very dangerous to have the pawn at sixth and seventh rank he captures with the queen right now this is very strong diagonal it is eyeing anytime the sacrifice can be built to get an advantage but what max played right now he played d5 so far no inaccuracies have been made as per stockfish engine and what a game is going on it's all together a new game it needs analysis and knight a5 so this move by jakonagir is trying to find some way to push white back because white is at slight advantage in general when opening happens old Sicilian was opted by jakonagir but max has prepared a different altogether set up and he is experimenting he is stronger than him and this match is going on and so this is slight inaccuracy because bishop b3 would have been a better move right now if he captures he captures or he captures then he could have again uh, rook e8 would have been played right so he goes for queen a4 so lots of tension going on this is a gold medal game and it's all together a new problem and knight captures the bishop so jaco nagir goes for simplification he says okay take my knight i don't want this monstrous bishop over here because it is defending this pawn which is getting at the fifth rank at the fifth rank it is three moves away from queening if somehow so that pawn is monstrous and so he wants simplification and he goes to capture the bishop so it is better to capture the bishop it is really well to capture the bishop and i think he is following the fundamental ways and classical methods of chess because here no memory no theory can work because it is altogether a new game now queen captures at c4, the knight is gone from Jakunagir camp and bishop is gone from the max camp. So, Netherlands versus Uzbekistan. b5 comes immediately, attacking and gaining some space, attacking the queen and really setting it up. So, he is clearly saying that I am not going to give you so easily and he attacks the queen. So, what happens right now? Let us see. Queen to e4. So he moves the queen, Max moves the queen to e4, he is playing with the white pieces, rook e8. Now he is preparing for this move, or might be he wants to question this pawn over here. So slowly Jakunagir is improving his position. At move number 9 to 14, it appeared that he is slightly lagging behind the development but now he has two pawns sitting over here at a very strong he has got an outpost but this pawn is there so we cannot say it an outpost and he should try to get this outpost so see c6 is an outpost and you need to get that outpost how will you get that outpost you need to do some maneuvering some maneuvering and then you can get that outpost and if you are going to get that outpost it is very good for you but let us see what happens right now we are in the middle game developing the rook defending the pawn so we have three defenders of this pawn we have three defenders of, of this pawn and there are two attackers of this pawn and if queen is attacking at the first we do not consider it because you are not going to lose your queen by taking a pawn with a minor piece attack so right now a minor piece is attacking a major piece is attacking two major pieces are attacking and one major piece is defending and the other major piece is defending so let us see what happens right now bishop to f5 again attacking the queen he wants to remove him he removed the queen from this diagonal because he don't want him to defend so this is under the control and the queen has been attacked so what he is going to do max so this move is clearly sending the masses that go away from my camp uzbekistan is clearly jako nagir the player from uzbekistan federated 2564 he wants that queen to go out of his camp queen h4 he moves here a stunning move over here looking for at least some checkmate breakthrough and i think that don't happen at this higher level uh, this could either you Keep your queen over here or here but he has found this this is a very strong diagonal because you are not going to get attacked easily and you have now produced a double attack on this pawn but there are two defenders if you move this 
he will capture this pawn attacking the knight so i think he has made a good move max is doing quite well and now he attacks the knight so he has removed one defender and now he is trying to remove the other defender so right now jakanogir plan is to capture this pawn and he is now pushing the defenders away so what is he going to do so knight to e4 so knight has come to e4 probably this would have been better but now this pawn is going to fall and now he might capture with this but what he does he captures the knight first queen captures it back so he gains the defenders back so right now this is a shocking move by jakanagir he now captures it and he has given his bishop so one bishop one knight out of the board from the both camps so right now let us see what is going to happen this pawn is the prime target of jakunagir he wants to get that pawn and this game is the gold medal game so bishop captures it too so this is the benefit of having this on the strong diagonal and he wins a pawn and so here he is at an advantage of plus one he has won a pawn and let us see what happens and this is the frustration that has given him move he thought for lots of time 18 minutes left with him 14 minutes with jakonogir and he this is not a good move it's a mistake bishop f4 was a better move attacking this queen forcing him to move away and then capturing might be this knight and looking for some breakthrough this is what queen c5 would have gone and that move he has not played he had developed the rook he needed some move to make and he has thought to put the rook on e-file not a bad move but not a very good move as well so knight bishop sits over here and this is a very strong setup no pawns behind to stop it and now we need some minor piece to take it and then you are going to give a pass pawn and so clearly at this stage jako nagir after capturing that pawn and putting the bishop at an outpost has gained an advantage against a very strong player and this game he is playing for the gold medal of his team and he is really performing extraordinary and he is following the fundamental concepts of chess so what can happen next rook e3 attacking the bishop you must have to attack it with some piece he goes for it and now he pushes him back now he further pushes him back so his each move that he is making he is giving lots of time every five minutes four minutes he is thinking about the move and then he goes for f6 a very great move right now here so what where the bishop will go so might be he could go for this or maybe he look for something else so what is he going to do so might be he is thinking if he captures i capture and then i may go for a checkmate so max is considering to checkmate very quickly which actually don't happen in such games you are playing for a gold medal you cannot sacrifice a piece so easily and he goes for queen h4 so he has given a piece to him with the idea of taking it and then the pieces are all away from the camp and might be he would be able to convert it into a victory is he is it going to happen that is it going to happen that what will happen right now will he capture this pawn and will he allow it is it a sacrifice will he capture this pawn what do you think will he capture this pawn or will he not capture this pawn so primarily this is an inaccuracy we will come back to our question whether he will capture so this is the question right now that will he capture this pawn this is the question with my viewers but right now the move this one is in slight accuracy the better move could have been bishop here attacking the queen and then e5 bishop a6 f5 and then queen h4 looking to get some breakthrough and now this advance of pawn as per computers this could have ended up in a better for max and so this was the actual move that computer suggests but this has not happened because humans are playing and i don't prefer to look at the computer's game you need to see the bird problem and you need to solve it at on your own so right now what is going to happen will he capture this so you need to do the calculation suppose you capture it what happens if you capture this is coming over here and how are you going to defend this pawn 
is there any defender over here no you cannot come here and defend this this diagonal this bishop the dark square bishop can only control the dark squares so this you cannot control it now you cannot come up this cannot come to defend it so there is no way if you go anywhere this was going to be a checkmate or a series of sequential checks could come check 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 and then might be a mate is going to happen so this was a game that this move was quite an excellent move and so will you be with the black pieces capture it did Jakarnegir capture it no he did not capture it so what he did is he captured the central pawn and left the bishop over there so he is not going to allow this knight this monster knight to become a monster that's the beauty of this game a completely new game going on and so he refused he did not capture it so those beginners who are trying to learn from this game you have to see how you can when you have to capture a piece don't capture the piece so easily so let us see now what happens so f5 was could have been played that was one option one option it was captured but he did not do if you'd have captured checkmate was inevitable and so no move could have saved him and so this is how uh, uh, this game is going on the, and he refused he captured the central pawn so jakonagir is improving his pieces and he saw this sacrifice that this is a checkmate that's the beauty of grandmasters and now rook to ed3 so max now pins the knight knight is under pin now and double attack is going on so what he is going to do how this is on a light square so remember you cannot defend a light square with a dark square bishop that is the limitation of bishop that's why sometimes knight becomes more powerful than bishop but when you have open file then bishop is a long range piece it can cover long range positions long range locations so this game is going on what is going to happen next he plays e6 defending the knight that's the better way to defend it and this is under attack yet but now will he keep his bishop over here so see two moves last two moves this bishop is here this pawn is capturing it but he's not doing it because checkmate is inevitable but this move by jakanagir is improvement of his piece because now this can come over here and defend it suppose now if he captures it this knight comes over here then we have a defender of this pawn or queen can be a defender of this pawn and so right now the best move for him is to might we capture this or retreat so let us see what he goes yes he captures it knight captures no bishop captures it and that is actually a mistake by jakunagir so why it's a mistake queen f4 was a better move as per computers queen f4 bishop g5 attacking the queen exchanging the queens and this could have ended in a very strong position for Jaka Nagir, but he did not go for that. He captures with the bishop. This bishop won a pawn for him, and now he captures, attacking it, and it is in the defense of this. But if he captures, he captures, so he is going to get the queen. So, what he is going to do? Yes, he captures it. He captures, go for a check. So, that is the shock from Jako Nagir that he is looking at the board and now he has captured this so he captures it with the queen and now he captures now the queens are off the board at move number 27 what a game we are witnessing for a gold medal so much to learn from it so much fundamentals going on and knight two rooks two knights three pawns with max and five pawns with Jako Nagir so Jokonagir is an advantage of class 2. So my dear viewers, this is systematic chess. We are covering the gold medal match, how he won. So rook to d6. Now he is looking to attack this pawn, attack this pawn. So this rook has to hold over there. Let us see what happens next. And he develops the knight to the center. That is a better idea. Those beginners who are watching this game, you must be looking to control the center. Put the knight at the center. The knight is monstrous at the center. It is attacking the rook. It is covering so many pieces. It is going to take this pawn also. So right now, this is a fork. 
clearly it's a fork from Joko Nagir. What a move he has played. Extraordinary move. This can be said a good move. He defends his rook and he captures f2. Then rook goes to the seventh rank. So right now Max is trying to follow the fundamentals but they are not getting effective. See if you are able to put your, put your rook at the seventh rank you are going to clearly win the match but here the computer says rook d2 was a better move attacking this knight because this knight is covering very critical squares which is not good for him and so he goes for a check and then this could have been this could have been the setup to be played but right now he goes on the seventh rank following the fundamental principles that in the end game you should put your rook on the seventh rank because what it does is cut off the king to coming to the center and this game for the gold medal what a move that was so this there once he won the pawn with the bishop on the long diagonal and right now by forking the rook and the pawn looking for this idea so despite he could have saved it so this move was made there and so a fork have happened usually many great players don't see the fork and knight is so dangerous you should always be looking for forking something with the knight rook and a pawn has been forked he moves his rook and he captures attacking he goes for the seventh rank and now he comes with a check now clearly Jakun Nagir is at an advantage and right now Uzbekistan started celebrating that Jakun Nagir, Jakun Nagir, you are going to make the make us victorious because he has made uh, from at move number 9 to move number 14 very quick attack by Max and then his strategy of trapping by sacrificing the bishop has not worked. Jakun Nagir had just nullified all his endeavors and playing with the black pieces with Sicilian defense the kings come up attacking knight goes back attacking the rook he goes now to attack this pawn this central pawn is a dangerous pawn and then a5 has been played so what is going to happen next knight to g5 now he goes with knight slight inaccuracy but a good move because now he can capture this pawn and now he has to move that pawn but he goes for rook at the now he questioned the rook are you going to be there or are you not going to be there are you going to keep this central file or are you going to give me this central file and what it does he captures the rook he captures it and now he gains the pawn but might be this could have been a better move attacking with the knight but he captures it the check comes he goes up and right now a knight against two pawns against four pawns knight comes to h5 attacking this pawn and what is the way to defend it might be this can be way but he despite defending it he moves up and knight goes back and this is quite a mistake attacking this Rook and Joko Nagir is primarily a player of knight and he is doing quite well. He moves and attacks this pawn. So this pawn is likely to be falling right now. So he comes and gives a check. He moves towards and now he captures with a check. He goes there. So it is. this is a very risky position. Sometimes you get checkmated because this knight is controlling this. This pawn is controlling this. You cannot come in this file. So only this square is remaining. For Max and right now Jakun Nagir is looking for checkmate. Can he do that? What has happened in the match? Let us see. King moves to f4. Two, one pawn down. Four pawns against one pawn. And Uzbekistan has started celebrating. What a day. We did it at 2-5-6-4. Jakun Nagir is playing this game for gold medal. And what a game he has displayed. He improved himself from very... A uh, weak position. Now he's clearing everything. He's go for a check. He comes up and he safeguards his knight. Some moves are being so he comes there. He's keeping an eye on everything. And right now these connected pawns are the problem. So he goes back. He has he is sitting in the center and he check. And now he looks to get some break attacking this and looking to get rid of this pawn. Rook comes here attacking the knight. What is going to happen? He comes there sitting at an outpost blocking that pawn. Now he goes for a check. He stops there and now he fix this file and he is controlling this file. So end game is going on. 
the single pawn is defending that knight but what is going to happen these two connected pawns are getting very dangerous attacking the knight so knight is also very dangerous piece you have to be careful don't get forked in the last few hours and right now max goes for knight e4 and what he does he moves ahead he is marching ahead slowly controlling critical squares and this is a blunder can you find why it's a blunder can you see why it's a blender? Can you find out why it's a blender? Because you have gone away and now G4 check is coming and this you have to leave. You cannot come here. You have to go here and the advance of the pawn is not going to because you are having a control of this file. He is looking to get some break, some checkmate, some pattern. But Jakunagir is very sharp. He goes for the G4 check, capitalize on the mistakes that has been done by max and now he has to move away and now these two pawns are very strong probably unable you won't be able to he moves further so two one check and this move is creating panic in the camp of netherlands and also panic in the camps of others because this match if netherlands would have defeated the ties it would have been different and right now Queen comes back to capture it and he now attacks the knight. Slight and inaccuracy, rook to d2 would have been better move, cutting uh, maybe so that he could have advanced the pawn. But right now he goes there, he comes there looking to produce something out of nothing. But it is clear that a check is coming, he goes up and this pawn goes and now no one is going to defend this. A defense could have come from here. But this knight is safeguarding that square, very critical square. He goes for a check, he moves, he goes for a check, he moves. And now at this stage, clearly this is going to be winning. And what a victory by Japanagir. Really a wonderful victory. This is the gold medal match. And hey guys, I am Igual from Systematic Chess. My passion is chess. And I am going to cover all the games of the Chess Olympiad, the games of Grandmasters that can help you benefit your game. And in return, what you have to do, you have to subscribe my channel and support me by subscribing it. And don't forget to hit the bell button because most of the times I go live and analyze the games that i like because i keep on analyzing these games to improve my game and that's how you can improve four minutes remaining max has to resign and this is the end and please make a note that my 95 percent viewers don't subscribe and the subscription is completely free come on subscribe it so this is the time that what a victory this is the gold medal we are producing here right now and so we have seen so many uh games and right now we will end up so this is the end of the game